Welcome to Knit One, Part Two, Episode Sixty-Five. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Sixty-five. I'm Sheila, also known as Sheila D. Thirty-Seven on just about everything. And I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Winnie on Ravelry and Penny Winnie Two on a lot of other things. Yes. I first want to just let you guys know the kids are out for the summer. So if you hear some background noise, that's what it's going to be. Because it is raining here today, yes, so we can't throw them out in the yard like we normally do. And they have promised to be quiet, but, you know. Kids promise. They're in elementary in school. Good, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so if I'm looking up that way, I'm looking up at my son, because my oldest one is going to try and keep the younger ones in line. Yeah. And he stuck out his tongue at me. We'll see how that works. We'll see. So let's start off with draw something. We oh, both yeah. want to mention this. I haven't done it in two weeks, and Me I'm either. sure. So, if you are the type that want to continue to do it, by all means, delete me. Yeah, well, I'm just going to put it this way. I love Draw Something, but I am now playing between 60 and 70 yeah, different games. Here. I It takes me almost four hours to go through all of my new games. I can't, it's like I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> We've kind of gotten burnt out <laughs> on burnt it. Burnt out on it. So, I feel really bad. I don't want to delete anybody. So if you are the kind of person that wants to play like regularly, you should might as well just delete me because I'm only going to play when I feel like it. Because right now it's almost like a chore that I have to do. But if you're one who doesn't mind getting a picture from me every, every once, in while, once in a while, <laughs> then keep, keep us, us keep there. Us in. We will do it, but right now we're a little burnt out. Um, it was so. awesome to have so many people to play with when I was sick in bed because I did that a lot. But now it's kind of horrible because I got all these great people playing with me. There are so many people I can't play yet. My mother was nudging me today because I haven't played with my mom in more than a week. Because I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I, I haven't break. looked at it in almost two weeks. So um, if you want to delete us, by all means do. We're not going to be for hurt us. in any way. We're not no. going to take it personal. Us not replying to your game, don't take it personal either. Yeah, my, we're just my, my one male player, Jason, whose girlfriend also watches our show, he deleted me. It made me feel very bad, but I think it's because at that point I had stopped playing regularly, so I'm sorry, Jason. <laughs> but it's okay that you deleted me. Um, so we, we just have, wanted to put that yes, out there for you I, guys. I meant to mention it last week because it's been making me feel guilty, but four hours a day is just way too much time to try to play draw something. And then I feel guilty if I try to pick and choose who to respond to because that's horrible too. So I'm just, I need a break. Yeah, and it takes me four hours at night and I'd rather be doing things while I'm working. Like well, it's knitting cutting into my night. knitting time. <laughs> it really is. What? It's also, I do it sometimes before I go to bed and I end up staying up way later than I want to because I feel like I have to finish them all before I go to sleep. Oh. I can't do that anymore. I'm just, it's too much. I'm sorry. So. Um, we have 913 members on the rap group. Oh, nice. Yay. Inching our way up to 1,000. Yay. And then when we will do a prize of Palooza. So if you haven't joined the group, you should join. Get those numbers up there for the big prize of Palooza. What is going on with my yarn here? <laughs> it's like, oh, I see. What's it in the middle? It's, yeah, I somehow got it wrapped around the work and it wasn't. Pulling out. All right, so um, I guess it's my week to go first. It is your week to go first. Um, on the dance card, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the thing I didn't even bother to bring. We're at Sheila's house, and it is the Creature Comforts Cardigan by Madeline Tosh, which is available for $6 on Ravelry, and it was kindly gifted to me by Whimsical Rain when I was sick, from my when I was recovering from my knee surgery. And I am doing it on US 8 5mm needles in the Madeline Tosh Vintage Byzantine colorway. I love the project. I haven't loved it. I haven't given it any love again this week. And I think it's just because it's, it's warmer and it's big. And I can't take it with me anywhere. Right. And I just haven't given it any love. So hopefully my heavy... Yarn weight knitting mojo will come back. I, I might take it with me on my vacation. I'm leaving for a vacation next week. So, um, yeah, no love for that. Didn't bother to bring it because the last, like, five times I've shown it, it looks exactly the same. So yeah. if you want to see what it looks like and this is your first time joining us, watch last week's episode because I, I showed it. it on last oh, week. I did. I showed it last week. <laughs> I, I held it up last week. <laughs> or, you know, any other week that I held it up, it looks the same. So that's the number one thing. 
Number two, my loud and proud socks. Um, I did do some progress on them. I mostly knit on these when I'm at my physical therapy. So I did a um, strange little, I made up a little slip stitch, you can see. Kind of makes it look like there's... Stitching. A, yeah, like, it's interesting. Like a Frankensack almost. Like a Frankensack. I kind of like the way it came out. So I did that. I'm just playing around to do things on the different thing. I turned the heel. I did a short row heel. Looks pretty good. No holes. See, Steve? No holes in my short row heel. And um, now I'm on the leg. And I was thinking of doing some ribbing or something on the leg, but that was just like too much thought, so I'm not going to. But I still have all of this to knit through. Wow. So these might be knee highs. I might need to increase. Yeah, you might. Um, that'll be fine. So yeah, that's it. That's my knitting at the at the um, PT place where everyone thinks, I don't know why they think that's so amazing that you can ride a stationary bike and knit. All you're doing is your moving legs are your moving. Legs. You know, it's not like you have to hold on with your hands. And that is in my Jessel Lou gnome bag, which I love. Um, and I am knitting those from my standard toe-up pattern that I use, which is 12 stitches at the toe increase until I have um, 32 on both sides, which is a 64 stitch. And then I did a, just a regular short row heel, which is I decreased, I did the um, short rows until I had 12 stitches on the needle, and then I picked them all back up again. That's just your standard sock pattern. And um, and then I'm just going to knit. I might do some gussets in the sides to make it wider because my legs are not like this thin all the way up. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. And that is with Play It Life Saki Maki in the Loud and Proud colorway. And Play It Life has an Etsy store, and she does a lot of really cool gradients and other colors. So yeah. you should check her out. And I am using US 1.5, 2.5 millimeter needles. The last thing that I'm working on is my Color Affection by Vera Valamaki, which is available for $5 on Ravelry and was kindly gifted to me for my birthday by Dawn's Knits. Um, I am using three colors, it calls for three colors, from Holiday Yarns in her Flock Sock Base. The pale color, this color, the pale gray is called Charcoal. The blue is called Bruised Ego, and it's, it's, it's a blue, but it has little shots of um, charcoal in it. And then the dark gray is called Badger Black. And I have done, I did the first plain section, the second two color section. I just finished the third three color section, and I made a modification. I wanted to get more um, depth on the back of the shawl, so I added six extra rows, which is one repeat of the, um, the back pattern, one extra repeat. And now I am knitting all the way across. I'm supposed to knit two inches of this. I think I might knit it even more because I want to show you I have a ton of yarn left. Like I was thinking if I knit this again, I would increase all of the sections to make it really big. So it would be, because I, I like that wide shawl, but I have this much left of the charcoal. And that's your main color? That's, that's my main color. main color. And I have this much left of the blue, which is my color number one. And I have almost a complete skein of my color number two. Hmm. So I could almost probably get another shawl out of if this. You just I might run out of the main color, but you know, like if I if I rechange the order, right, exactly. I could probably get another shawl out of this. Um, I'm really liking it. I wish you could see what it. It's it's going to be pretty wide, long. Um, for example, just this one little section here is like a foot long, and you can. I went around. I think it's like six feet. It's going to be long. Okay. <laughs> um, my concern is how deep it's going to be because I just really want something that is it's pretty deep at the wide. It's going to be part. deep once you block it because it is garter stitch. Garter stitch does It stretch. does grow. I just I want it to be deep enough so that it goes down to my back. I don't want it to be like one of those short things. I want it to be big and drapey. So I might add, it's, it calls for two inches. I might do three inches on the bottom. I think the wider stripe will just look pretty and it will be more 
in line with the, um, the part on the top. But I'm really enjoying that. And um, I could have actually finished it yesterday, but I was lazy, so I didn't do that. And that's all that I have on the dance card right now. Well, I'll jump into my color affection show by Vera Velamaki. Um, I've gone into the stripe section. I haven't done too much. Ooh, of I like the cold colors together. Yeah, um, apparently I'm in the middle of a row. That on me. <laughs> Hold on, I want to make sure I don't lose the stitches. I should definitely have this done by next week, I'm thinking. So here is my color affection. It's done with Madeline Tosh Pajnina on size 6 needles. Yes. Size 6. 6 and the... I'm I'll using the... Time, Silver Fox, and Rose, and I don't have my rose with me. Not sure where it is, them. actually. You it's should say bad. it on them. Um, 6. So these are you... my colors. 4.0 millimeter. That's my two colors right now. Looks good. And I just dropped stitches. Well, they fell off the needle. They didn't drop. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice, soft, and squishy. I like how the gray looks shaded. like two colors, yeah. yeah. So, I will work on this. I've been working on it, but um, I have a couple of books that I've been reading that are not... I, there's no way of me to hold them and read them at the same time yeah. while knitting, meaning. So... That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Also, what I've been trying to do is uh, finish up the Ruby Slipper Shaw by Wendy. And um, my friend who had the other skein has had some things going on, and I didn't want to bother her. So what I ended up doing, or bothering anyone else, I ripped all the way back, took out two points, and then I started knitting up again, and I am on... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just finishing up my fifth point. Two more left with on my head. Where is it? Did the ball fall down? Yeah. This much left, which I know I'll have enough. That'll be enough. It's under the chair, so. That's about how much I had left over on mine. Right. So, um, and we figured it out. The gauge is definitely the reason why it was off. Um, my gauge was tighter. Yes. Yeah, six yes. stitches to the inch. I didn't weigh it because I was just going by her instructions. So the notes, key, key, key to people who are doing this when the pattern comes out is weigh your skein. If you don't get gauge, weigh your skein. And I'm thinking weigh your skein anyway because I knit it to use up every last possible amount. And I was generous in the sense that I stopped knitting mine earlier. I had, I had about as much as she has left, left over. I had about this much left over. But, um, you know, if your gauge is even the tiniest bit, off it's you're good and you don't weigh it, it will be a problem if I did things differently I would have stopped at six points for me one two three four five six to give yourself more length which would have given me plenty of width mm -hmm. to make it longer as it is I mean this is again it's garter stitch it'll stretch really it gets long really long but I would have liked it In fact, longer I brought mine so that you could see this is not even blocked hard and it is very long but what I did this is kind of funny because um, I took a different color to knit to finish the thing because I was gonna put out a request on how many yards I need yeah um, and I used some leftover Sundara sock because it's similar to twist I wish I had more of that skein because it looked really pretty oh, in did it. It? <laughs> it was a nice peachy I don't know if anyone remembers the um, mystery shawl from Wendy Knits Last oh, yeah. year, I used that color. You it's, did um, um, Tuscan rose, rose over, over lemon. lemon. Yeah, and it looked really, really pretty. I have that some like, in my like, stash. Oh, it would look so <laughs> pretty in a lighter color. Um, not necessarily that one, but a lighter color. So I may do this again in a lighter color for a gift. I mean, this yeah. is definitely that's a great a, gift knit because it you really can is. It right out. It's really easy, and as it is now, I mean, it's definitely. Plenty wide enough. Yeah, you could make it narrower. But I would longer. would have liked it to be a little bit narrower, um, just to make it longer. Cause you know, I laugh at that because you're the one who told me <laughs> I needed to make it wider when I was. Do you remember this? No, I asked I you, it's... do I need to make it wider, and you were like, yeah. So I did one more point. But I didn't realize how much one more point would make it's it wider because of the garter stitch. And this is like, 
It's, it's wide. Yeah. But again, you can also make it a triangle shawl to the widest point with half the skein and then start decreasing. Yeah. I mean, you can do... You can do a lot of different things with, with this, this, but it's going to be nice. It's nice and cozy. It'll be pretty pretty. I'm hot. Well, yeah, I know. I had a sweater on, actually, because it was cold in my house. Yeah, we don't have AC in my house. But so was... that's all I have for on my needles, and hopefully... Maybe before she's done, I'll have it off my needle. I know. That would be cool. Doubtful. Oh, so I wanted to tell you about it. Um, I was going to try to get the pattern out by the end of the week, but I thought Sheila would be done today, and then I thought also that we could take pictures of our stuff, but the weather is horrible. So well, I don't know when next we're going to – yeah, sometime next week. Because I, I think we're going to try it. and record on Tuesday next yeah, week. Yeah, and hopefully Tuesday will be sunny next week and we can take our pictures. In. I don't want to publish them until I have pictures, and I don't want to take pictures today. No, because you want a really good picture. I do, and it's the weather here is horrible. Not cooperating. So. Next week, nice sometime next week, the, that will be up for purchase. So, FYI. Um, rate your date. I have nothing to rate. I, I wrote down the ruby slipper shawlette because I was going to mention what I just said, which was I'm going to try to get it out. But. I have nothing to rate either. Um, this will be done definitely by next yeah, week. Yeah, this will be done by next week, definitely. Um, that one I'm not sure. So, future dates. Some yarn barf. <laughs> guess so. On to our future dates. No, whirlwind romance for you. Whirlwind right? romance. Yes, I do. I did do a whirlwind romance. Um, I didn't bring my loop bat with me because I'm at Sheila's house, and because even though I only have like um, two more colors left, I'm down to the the dark blue and the purple. Like I'm at the very end of the bat. Um, just showing you the bobbin. I really only need to show you once because you can't really see what's on the bobbin when it's wound up like that. Um, so yeah, I've made significant progress on that. Did you make a mistake? Yeah, I forgot to decrease. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, bind off. Oh yeah, I hate it when that happens. I always realize it at the end of the row so that I have to go back and I'll, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, um, there, I still have that on the needle. That will probably be finished and plied for next week's show because, um, I'm really close to being done. I probably only have an ounce left. And then, um... The other thing I wanted to say for Whirlwind Romance, it's not exactly a project, but um, Tour de Fleece is coming up, and Knitting Blooms, with the help of Kogi, Kogi TM, Kogi TM yeah. um, did a really great tutorial, video tutorial on how to clean and recondition your wheel. Um, they showed it on Ladybugs, but I think it would work well for any wheel, um, you know, assuming that you listen to what they're saying about what you clean and what you don't clean and how to do it. All you need is um, some, what's the name of that wood stuff? Murphy's Oil. Murphy's soap. Oil Soap and some brass cleaner. So, and then you need some carnauba wax or some wax that will work on the wood of your wheel. And a lot of times your wheel manufacturer will tell you what you can use to wax your wheel. Um, wax your wheel sounds nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. That just sounded really gross to me. Sounds like a... I, it sounds like a bad phrase. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I am going to do that. Um, check out Knitting Bloom's podcast. The link for the um, tutorial is on there. And um, it's really long because they really show you in detail what they do. But um, it makes me feel more confident about cleaning my wheel. I've owned mine since November and it really... There's like oil splattered on it from... Oh. Because I oil my... Shock wheels have to be oiled every time you use them. So I oil my wheel every time, and it does, it, you know, it gets on the wheel. So I want to get it her in um, really nice shape before I start spinning every day in July. So check it out, Knitting Bloom's website. Okay, on to future dates. Future Your dates. Turn. First of all, secret knitting is so exciting. I told you before that I'm designing a pattern, and I also got to help design the color of the yarn. So I worked with the dyer to do that, and she is sending me this, the first sample skein in the mail this week. I didn't get it yet. She mailed it yesterday, I think, or the day before yesterday. Anyway, I'm super excited. It's gorgeous. I showed it to Sheila. It's really pretty. It's even prettier than I thought it was going to be. So um, as soon as I yeah, get that, it's gonna I'm, be nice. I'm going to start knitting my sample. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get that. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm also going to start drafting, I'm doing um, 
the color work mitten called warm heart mittens and I'm going to start working on the graphs for that as soon as I get my other pattern published. Um, I already know in my head what I want to do the um, design on the mittens, but I need to graph it out on my new, my fancy new software. Mm -hmm. So, um, and once I do that, I'll probably cast those on. And last but not least, um, I was gifted the pattern Judy B by Kimberly Gintar, and we oh, talked right, about yeah. it a few episodes ago. And I am going to cast on my Into the World hand spun Guidar colorway from in from Into the World, which I just said. It's a Polar Silk blend, and it is pretty much a sport DK. And um, I have a little bit less yardage than the pattern calls for, but I think I'm going to adjust it by making it slightly narrower in length um, to so that I don't I can you know mess with it. I'll weigh it. It's, she had it's a side to side shawl, so I can weigh it to um, make sure that I start doing the decreases at the right time. Right. But that I'll probably cast on. Um, as soon as this is done, because I feel like I just want another shawl. Yeah, this, I think it's garter. I think her shawl is garter too. I'm not 100% sure, but I just want some more big plain knitting. Sure. This has been the best knitting. This particular shawl is the best knitting for watching TV. Yeah. Like I have knit on this and watch TV. That's why I have so much of it done. I guess I've watched a lot of TV this week um, because it's, it's mindless. You only have to pay attention at the end. So, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing Judy B. Check it out. It's $5 on Ravelry if you're interested in it. And that's all that I have as a future date. Future, <clears throat> future dates. I'm going to cast on for this tonight because we are going somewhere um, with the children tomorrow, me and my neighbors. Um, oh, that's right. Sorry. Uh, although Zachary was told we weren't because here's the story. It was supposed to be a surprise for some of the neighbors. Yeah. And he was told not to say anything. And he did. So I told him we weren't going. <laughs> so I, I was really thinking about it. I mean, he was in tears because he, if anyone knows this kid, knows how much he loves cars. Yeah, he's a so, big um, Or amusement parks. Yeah. So he was in tears for a good hour or more, just pouting. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, that's really not fair to myself or to my of a child. Right. So I figured maybe what he can do is apologize to the two adults for ruining the surprise. Yeah, that's a good idea. And um, then I'll surprise him by going. So anyways, I don't ride a lot of rides because I get nauseous, although I want to go to CVS and try and get some anti-nausea pills, <laughs> see if that helps. <laughs> get one of those patches. I don't think you can get, buy them over the counter. That's patches? The yeah, I'm not sure. So anyways, I'm going to cast on a generic sock to walk around the park with, and this is what I'm going to do it in. It's um, Blue Moon Fiber Arts Medium Weight. I bought this from a D stash. Socks at Rock Medium Weight Mud Slide Colorway. And um, I think this is going to be on either size 3 or size 4 needles. Calls for 5 or 6, so I'll probably do it on a 3 or 4 because I tend to do mine on a smaller amount. Uh, it's a mud slide. It's probably going to be a generic plain old stockinette sock. Um, I do have an idea of a slip stitch pattern that I want to try out. So that's what I'm going to cast on tonight. I'll probably cast on my toes and get that set up Yeah. so that when I'm walking around the park tomorrow it will just be knitting. plain old knitting yeah. until I'll probably do a short row heel because it's easier. Yeah. And um, that's what I got. I'm a big planned. fan of the short row heel. Yeah, um, it fits a little tight across my uh, where your ankle meets your leg. It's a little tight there, but... Well, you know what I did this time? Is I made the foot a little bit longer so that I could that it would take up some of that room in the heel. Mm. Instead of doing it two inches, I did it an inch and a half. Mm. So it'll, that extra length will go up into the heel instead of... Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I noticed it was a little tight on... Well, yours is... I think it's tight because of the slip stitch part of the heel that we did on, on your... Yeah, but I did a plain short row heel on um, something else I did. Oh. Those socks that I knit in only three days. Oh. <laughs> the magic socks. Um, so that's what I have for my future dates. And that's it? That's it. Well, I still want to do high speed knitting, but I'm not going to talk about that until I at least finish up my other shawls that I'm working on. So. Yeah. All right. So the next thing is crushes and heartbreaks. Well, my weekly crush and heartbreak is my knee. 
Um, so I went to PT this week. I still have not graduated to the elliptical, which means I'm still not um, cleared to do cardio weight-bearing workout, which is kind of a bummer. I can try to do it on the bike, but I'm not allowed to put the tension up very high, and I, I don't know, I would have to ride really fast to get my heart rate up enough to actually burn calories. So that's really um, distressing. I'm starting to get kind of burned out. And then also, um, I noticed that I've started talking about my leg like it's like a different person, like the leg. Like the leg doesn't like that. Because if you're just sitting in your chair watching this, think about just clenching the muscle, clenching your thigh muscle. And when you do clench it, you can clench your thigh muscle. I can't always do that with my thigh muscle. Half the time, I, every muscle in my leg but the thigh muscle will tighten up because I don't have full control of it, which I, I still cannot understand why that's the case. My knee is perfectly fine. My problem is my thigh muscle now, but it's a result of the surgery. But um, it's really frustrating to me. Um, that's why my rest of my leg gets so messed up when I overdo because all the other muscles are compensating for the fact that my, my, my PT calls it firing. My leg muscle doesn't fire every time that it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have learned this week several things that the leg doesn't like. The leg really doesn't like walking on a beach. The leg is very unhappy with sand. And the leg hates the rain, which is why today, mm. when I woke up, my leg was so stiff. And the leg does not like it if I go up and down the stairs more than a couple of times a day. So I have to, you know, totally let the leg rule my life about everything that I do. And my PT told me, I said to the therapist, I mean, I take my kids to the beach several times a week during the summer. And that's our, like, go-to thing yeah, to do. Yeah, uh, one of the beaches here is very inexpensive for parking. Yeah, it's like three bucks or something. And and, it's um, not too far from the house. Yeah, and it's, it's like the best way to entertain your kids from, like, nine in the morning until two in the afternoon. Yeah. And then they're burned out for the rest of the day. They don't bug you. And, um... So I'm going to do it. She said, yeah, your leg is going to bother you the whole summer. Just know that while you're on the beach, you need to walk around as little as possible or your leg's going to be all crazy. So that's great. I said to Jim, just another thing the leg has taken away from me this year. <laughs> so that's my, um, that's my one, my heartbreak. And my crush is this bag that I got from knitting my bag. I was telling Sheila, every time I look at it, it makes me so happy. Something about the colors and the little people on it, I don't know, I just really love it. So check out Knitting's My Bag, although she might be on hiatus for the summer. I'm not sure what No, I think is. she um she still sells. Well, she did last year. I don't know about this year. I don't know. But yeah, Knitting's My Bag, that's my crush. We gotta get in touch with her and try it out. Yes, I have her phone number. I need to call her up. Yes. So my crushes and heartbreaks are um, the kids are home for the summer. That's both a crush and a heartbreak, as I do love them. When they're home, um, I'm hardy in debt with them being home. Um, with the kids being home, you have summer plans, and I make a very small amount with my overnight job. It helps a great deal, but when you have three or four activities that need money all at once, it goes real quick plus other added activities. The only good thing about it is, is I will be working a little bit more because my coworker can't work for the next three weeks starting Friday. Why? Her parents are going away and she lives with her parents so that when she leaves for the night shift, because she's divorced. There's nobody in the, the house. Right, well, Why? her parents would be in the house, right. So she won't be doing the night shift. So I'll be getting some extra money, but I'll also be tired. <laughs> It's just yeah. like a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. So um, I also, so that's a mixed crush and heartbreak. It's a mixed uh, blessing. It is. Um, Zachary will be going back to summer school, which means my oldest and I will have several hours to spend together. That's awesome. It is nice. It is nice to do that. Um, I have some, you know, plans for the summer. I need to clean up the house. I have my mother-in-law coming. Oh, yeah. My And my brother-in-law is getting married this summer, so yeah. that's super exciting. I was going to say... Um, I'm going away. I, I mentioned I'm going on vacation. We're going to record early next week and, and late when I come back. I'm going to be gone for a week. Right, we mentioned the early part. We didn't mention the late um, part. So that we don't miss a week of recording. Or record separately. But a separate 
cr crush that I have is that my parents are keeping the kids and I'm going to come back. So I'm going to be home alone for a couple of weeks, which means I can get my house cleaned <laughs> and do things. Yeah. Keeping kids, that's not in our vocabulary. Yeah. I was thinking about it because we were supposed to have my nephew for two weeks, but that backed off, backed out. And I was thinking about sending my kids somewhere. I could, but I don't think I would really relax about it because of the medications yeah, that Zach has thinking, to take. Yeah. He takes uh, seven pills in the morning, I think, and three at night. So not until he's a little less. Yeah. And, and actually, October, he should be getting rid of at least one liquid. He only has one liquid he has to take um, that they keep him on for two years afterwards. Um, but my other crush is on virtual knit night, I want to apologize for anyone who tried to come after 930. They quit Wendy, right? Yeah, Wendy um, couldn't make it. I had worked Friday night and Saturday night with very little sleep on both days. 930, I was burnt. I did get to speak to a couple people, and in that time, <laughs> I purchased Lorna's Laces <laughs> Sport Weight, Sport Mate, which is with their out, Outlast, Outlast sock, yeah, uh, Outlast material, which is the temperature control. We were talking about how Megan from Stockinette Zombies made a sweater out of it, mm -hmm. and she said knitting with it felt weird. That. Almost, I guess she was on VKN talking about knitting with it. When you picked it up, it was already warm, almost like when you sit on a toilet seat. Yeah. It's already warm. It's Ooh. that weird, creepy, creepy <laughs> feeling. But it made me think that I would really like to have socks knit out of that because my feet get hot and cold, hot and cold. I want to see what it would be oh, like. Yeah. This will be a good review of how right. well it controls the <clears throat> well, temperature. Well, that's exactly what I want to do because this is the time of year where you can wear wool socks because at night your feet get cold, but it's, it's not so cold that your feet stay cold or whatever and yeah. I, I end up taking my socks off in the middle because my feet are too warm so I want to try and do that but I got works. it in the stockinette no the zombie barbecue colorway which is very popular with Lana's laces because they um, sent out a, a monster kit with Rebecca Danger with that colorway but the funny part about this is as I keep forgetting Lana's laces you have to buy two skeins to make <laughs> a sock a pair of socks and I had ordered one, and I realized it about 20 minutes after I had ordered it. And it was on a Sunday night, so I emailed them. Yeah. They responded to, to me Monday saying that they had they fixed the order for me, and they'll send me a confirmation PayPal. I approved it. It's on its way. So and I just you got that say, from Jimmy Beans? Jimmy Beans Wall. I just want to say that Jimmy Beans Wall's customer service is A1 superior. So yeah, that's excellent. That was my crush, and um, I should get it by next week to show you and I may cool. after I finish these cast that right on just because I'm excited I to try it out so I will be you. giving you a review on the sport Outlast mate. sport mate now that's the sport weight sock yarn yeah they do have soul mate which is the fingering weight but I'm mm. going to be doing the sport weight so I'll review that when I'm done and cool. wear it once or twice or three four or five times so that's awesome that's my crushes and heartbreak um bottles and bling this week I have nothing I got one. What is it? I'm excited. To, oh, that's right. I'm like, I'm excited. I don't even know. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I do yeah, know. You I'm do know. It. So if anyone clicks onto their Ravelry homepage, you'll see that the winner is a project designed by Elo Knits. It was not the one I voted for. But I like the style. It's not the, the one bag. I voted for either. But I do. Like but I it. do like the style. Oh, I like this one. This would have been my second it wasn't choice my if you could. One. If you could choose a second choice. But the the design that was my winner, they have bag options out there, but not this. I like I like the style of bag. So it's just a little drawstring. So that I bought the Ravelry bag. It's I think it's eight dollars and something cents. It's a decent amount. It's a, a fine a small amount for a good quality bag. Got some nice. It's eco bags, and it's made from orga organic cotton. And it's a nice lightweight. Yep, let me throw It's pretty big. It's a decent size, so that's yeah. what it's going to look like. I have a cake of yarn in here with my needles, and um, certified organic cotton by eco bags. <laughs> so that was my bottles and bling, and this is to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Ravelry. Or the, the ninth, seventh, or the seventh anniversary, anniversary of idea of Ravelry. Right, Bob Miss. Happy Bob Miss. So that's my bottle and bling. I like it. 
I do too. That's a cute bag. It is cute. The person who designed it did a very good job. She did. I really, that was one of the ones that I thought was really clever. And then your, the one you liked came in third, right? Yeah, it's really funny. The ones that we liked. Yeah, the ones that I liked came in second, and the ones that she liked came in third. They were all amongst the most popular. Yeah, so. But I got this. This was mine. The drawstring is only on one side. Just I was just noticing that. Well, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah. And this is almost like, a, this is going to be one of my favorites, like my Anna Moore bag. I just like these small little bags like this. Yeah. They're lightweight, and I just tend to throw them in my other bags because I take so many other bags when I go to work. Yeah. Cool. So that's on my bobbles and bling, and it was inexpensive enough that. Yeah, buy one. Yeah. Uh, gossip and innuendo. Um, I wanted to mention, I want to say thank you to our member, Young and Crafty, for reminding us about the Knit and Crochet Guild of America is doing their annual um, conference in Manchester this summer. They're calling it the Chain Link, and when she talked about the Chain Link, I didn't recognize it, but I've gone to the TKG or TKCGOA conference like every year except for the year that they didn't do it in Manchester. Um, it's a really nice little conference. They're doing it from June 27th to July 1st at the Radisson Hotel Manchester in Manchester, New Hampshire. So if you're local, you can um, sign up in advance on the um, TKCGOA website. Um, just search on Chainlink Festival or Chainlink Conference and it'll come up. And you can register in advance. The first 500 people who are registered in advance who show up get a goodie bag. But you can also just show up and pay on the day. Um, and they have a coupon that you can use on their website to, to um, pay a little bit less at the door. You can also do the, the marketplace only. Um, you can register for that in advance or you can pay on the day with the coupon or whatever. Um, it's a nice little show. They usually have like, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 vendors there. I know Yarn and Fiber Company from Dairy is going to be there because I looked at the vendor list. They've got a bunch of people. It's, you know, there'll be yarn, there'll be fiber. They always show um, prize winning items that people oh, okay. have crocheted and knit. They have like a table for that. Um, and for us, anyway, Manchester is like a, a, a short day trip, Yeah. and um, you can go up, spend the morning there, come home. They have a nice little restaurant in the Radisson Hotel, where we usually get lunch. And I might go on Friday, which I think is the 29th. I might be there on Friday the 29th, if I can get somebody to go with me. I don't know if I feel like going up by myself. I won't have kids. Um, because on the 30th, I'm taking a full day spinning class, so I won't be able to do it then. And, um, I'm not, I'm going to be out of town until the 28th. I don't think the first day back from out of town, I'm really going to feel like going to Manchester. Plus we have to record that day, so. Oh yeah, that's true too. So yeah, so if you're going to the Chainlink conference I might see there. Post in, in the thread for this episode. Yeah, there's a thread. At, uh, well, there's also there is a, a thread, chain link thread. thread so if you're going to go there. Crafty. Post in somewhere. Maybe, you know, if enough people are there, we'll try to do a meetup. If I go, I'll, I'll keep you updated in that thread if I decide I'm going to go or not. I'd like to go because they do have some nice vendors there. I just don't know if I'm going to feel like going. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, but definitely if you haven't been before, check it out. It's a good thing. Um, there are also a lot of benefits to joining the Knitters, Knitting and Crochet Guild of America. You get a monthly magazine as a part of your dues, and you can get into things like this for free. So, cool. Um, and then uh, you had some stuff that you had I to do. in innuendo. Um, first off, I'm going to mention that... Uh, Hold on one second. Guys, Matt, shh, you're a little noisy. Just a few more minutes, okay? We're You've been doing done. a good job. So, uh, if a lot of you are familiar with Heather from Highland Handmade, she dyes her own sock yarn, well, her own yarn, and fiber, and, fiber. and does spindles. Um, she's also the hostess of Fiberista Files. She recently lost her job, and she's planning on taking Highland Handmaids to full time. To the next level, yeah. To the next level. And to do that, she is trying to go for a grant from Chase. And she was asking for our help in general, all the knitters, um, knitting, knitter viewers. The knitting help. world. Yes. To try and go for, uh, there's 12 grants that Chase is giving out for $250,000 for small business owners 
To do that, you have to click on a link um, via Facebook and search Highland Handmaids and click vote. So the link is, uh, it's through Chase's Small Business. Apply for, um, this is what it looks like. And the instructions on what to do are there. And we'll put a link. We'll put a link on our so show notes. You can get there. There's also one in her group. I found out by going on Heather Highland Hamming's group. <clears throat> and she's just asking. She needs 250 votes to at least get to the second qualifying round. Uh, it's not a guarantee that she'll get it, but at least get through the section, second qualifying round that there's enough interest out there for her business. To go to the <clears throat> next level. And I, we know that there is. And I just thought maybe we could put it out there for anyone who would like to help her out. Who might not be a member of her group, but loves Highland Handmaid's Yarn. And right. And so doesn't realize she's trying for this. Um... So she said once she, if she wins this, she'll be able to create a studio space for retail sales classes, and large-scale dyeing. In addition, she's hoping to uh, purchase more fiber processing equipment so that, again, she can make it, you know, in the grand scheme of, the, you know, equal to some of the other smaller or larger dye yeah. companies like Blue Moon Fiber Arts. Is yeah, she, so she can take it to the next level. Right. So if you want to think about just help, all you have to do is vote. That's all. Yeah. And then she goes, after you, do, after you vote for her, if you could also vote for Cooperative Press. Cooperative Press is also trying to get a grant, and Cooperative Press is the people who did that book. Yeah, the um, California Revival <clears throat> Nets is that we handed Press out. Book. They yeah. were they were we nice enough to give us a um, a free book to give out, free yeah. ebook to give out. So. And they're they're great. They do a lot of great work with with designers. It's a small press, um, and they could probably use that yeah. money too. But because we know how they're personally vote for her. Yeah, well, yeah, we've met her at the spa, and we would have loved to have met her at Fiber for All, like it just wasn't going to work out. Yeah. So that was one of my gossip and innuendos. And the other oh, one is... I want to say thank you to the ladies from String Theory. I, I heard about the um, message that you gave me through Jack Girl, and uh, I'm... Touched. I'm very touched and excited, and I might have to take you up on that. <laughs> so thank you, Jack Girl, for giving us that PM, too. Um, also, we have prizes to give away. Yes, do you have the books. And I stuff? do. I have everything. So right I have already done. We locked the thread before we recorded. I did the random number generator. I have the names. Just let me. I have to do my double increase here. Just a second. It's it's fiddly. Fiddly. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't do the make you didn't one do right. That one. No, I just do the make one left. It's easier. All right. So first of all. The book that we were offering is called One Skein, 30 Quick Projects to Knit and Crochet, and it is by Lee Radford, and it is brand new, sealed in plastic. And, and the, it is a $19.95 value. And the winner is MMA Marina. I didn't see where she was from, I'm sorry. Her favorite book that she listed was New England Knit. Which is also one of my favorite books. There's a lot of really gorgeous patterns so. in there. So, Marina, congratulations. This is for you. Um, PM me with your act, your real life name and address, and I will send this out to you as soon as possible. And um, Please do it before Tuesday so that you can get it within a time Otherwise, frame. I'm going to be gone She's for She's going to be gone for a week. So. Yeah. So, PM me as soon as possible. So that was prize number one, and this was graciously donated by AKA Millie, another member who is our friend from Alaska. Yay! Thank you, Emily. And the second prize that we have to give away is the poem Sock Yarn. Look how pretty. And the winner of that is um, the... And this was an $18.75 value. So just so go back on the book, it was the winner, the random number generator came up with number 56. Oh, 56, okay. So the random number generator came up number 15 on the sock yarn, which was Crafty Deb, Debbie. Her favorite yarns, which is so appropriate, is Highland Handmaids and Fiber Nymph. Crafty Deb, after you go on Facebook to vote for Highland Handmaids Loan, PM me with your real life name and address, and I will send this out to you and do it as soon as possible because I am going out of town a week from today. Yes, please. Thank you for participating in our little And it was contest. great to see um, 
sorry. <laughs> it's great to see everybody's choices for books and yarn. And there was one person, and I forgot her name, who said Blue Moon Fiber Arts was her favorite. Is there any other? And no, there is no other. <laughs> I Sheila still keep looking. Oh, I am. I keep looking at the stash, D stash page. I'm like, I don't need more, but yet I want more. I guess I but, know what to get you for your birthday then. But the good thing is, is <laughs> I'm using it. I'm like, you know how warm eyes you have. For me, or I went through the warm Sundara. eyes. Sundara. And yeah. Do you know how much Sundara I have? I never see. Never that's the good thing about Blue Moon is it's. Yeah, I don't mind knitting with it. my Blue Moon. I I'm gonna I'm gonna say I like Blue Moon. It cannot touch string theory hand-dyed, especially their caper sock, for me. Um, and it's because the color sensibility, I mean, aside from the fact that the base is just amazing, but the color sensibility of um, String Theory hand-dyed is more my cup of tea than Oh, I than agree. Blue, Moon. Blue Moon's not... Um, Blue Moon's more you. Well, not only that, but Blue Moon is, like... I'm a low-class girl. Not that Blue Moon is by any mind low-class. No, let me put it this way. Blue Moon can be relatively fair-priced. Caper sock is a little on the high side for a skater. But their their other their other bases are not as pricey as caper sock. I just love their caper sock. See, I don't know. You just can't go wrong with them. Yeah. So both of our favorites, right. and we're knitting the same the shawl the same pattern out of both of our favorite yarns. Yes. And my next pair of socks is going to be another favorite. And you know, I am planning on knitting. Oh, speaking of which, Rav Olympics. I did join. Team Blue Moon. <laughs> All right. But it will probably just be a pair of socks. I would just probably sock, sock put, I think. I, I'm not familiar with the events. i got to look that up. But if anyone is doing a team, we are not doing a team. No. But if anyone is doing a team, I wrote Rav Olympics. There's a thread called Rav Olympics. Just let us know what team you're on and let us know what you're doing. Maybe we'll do a... Um Contest for that, too, like we're yeah. doing for like our own little thing for Tour de Fleets. I have joined Into the World um, team into the world on Tour de Fleece. You will see from my um, avatar. I changed it so that it has that. I will be happy to make you an avatar for Blue Moon that incorporates your name and everything. Yeah, I can give you the Blue Moon thing. That yeah, they tell do. me where to look and I'll. All right, I'll do sounds it. good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at, and I think we're gonna call it quits. Yeah, before the our kids, kids get have too been. Rowdy. I have. Hey, a round of applause for the kids yeah, because they really were pretty year. darn quiet, considering that they are trapped in this house in the next room, and it's and I don't rain. have that much room in my house. It's a two bed. It's a two bedroom cave. Just well, I was thinking on the way over here, we should have done it at my house because we have a rec room in the basement. We could have thrown them down there, and it would have been. They could have been louder, but they were they really were good. So. So thank you, kids. Yes. And on that note, uh, any contact info is right above my head at knit1heart2.blogspot.com. Any Ravelry, Cafe Press, donation is that way. All over here. iTunes reviews and star ratings are greatly appreciated. Yeah. Thank you for uh, returning views, coming back, and checking us out each time. And if you're a new viewer, thanks for trying us Thanks for, for joining time. us. We hope you come back. Yep. Next week. See you. See you. Knit, knit with heart. Bye.